Okay, so had one of the viewers kind of asking for a um, review um, and comparison with all the various caddies that are out there and the SATA connectors and how they work and the differences, etc., etc. So I thought I would go through, highlight and show the differences between um, from the G1 through the G5. The G4 and G5 are basically the same. So um, this way, a lot of times also if you're on eBay and you're shopping for caddies and connectors, uh, they may have it mismarked. And this might be a way to help you identify and make sure you're getting the right thing. So let's start out with the uh, G1. So the G1 just has a, a pretty simple caddy. Uh, it's got uh, three screws, and um, it but it comes with a very distinctive uh, SATA connector, very similar to something that you might see on a motherboard where it actually has a SATA connector onto the motherboard, and then this goes on to another connector. It, this provides both the uh, data connection and, and, of course, the power. This one can't be used on other units, so it's very distinct to it. Um, these two are for what you would get on the G2. This is the for the 35 watt, and this is for the 65 watt. And as you notice, obviously, that the 65 watt comes with a uh, additional fan. The bottoms are the same, except that in this case, they've taken out this metal piece so they could put in the fan. These also have uh, three screws. They even put a little marker of, you know, one, one, two, and three. And then it has a SATA connector that doesn't screw in, and but it just, you know, it goes into a little slot and sits there. It's got a little pull tab there so that uh, um, it kind of helps I guess to disconnect the uh, um, your SATA drive. These are interesting because the screws are very distinct for the particular units. So the G2 ones are the longest of all that you find, wherein the G1 are still pretty long, but they're slightly shorter as you can see here. And so sometimes when you order these units, they'll include the screws, or hopefully you already have the screws on your unit to begin with. If you don't have, for some reason, the screws, check to see or ask the um, seller, do they include the screws? Because um, if you don't have them and they don't send them, then you're gonna be out of luck. Uh, let's look at the uh, G3. Here we've got the G3. This is for the 65 watt and includes the fan. This is for the 35 watt. Bottoms are the same. Again, um, this piece is taken out. Looks like they put some extra foam here probably for the uh, airflow. This will of course have the fan connector. This one can be a pain because if you ever need to take out the caddy, what you're going to have to do is take these three screws out because this unit has three screws and this third one is right here. Well, in order to get to it, you got to get rid of the fan. And of course, to get rid of the fan, you got to disconnect it from the motherboard. Uh, this comes with two types of screws. These are the shorter ones that are used to hold in the SATA connector. And then you've got three of these that hold the whole unit onto, or the whole caddy onto the unit. So make sure again, when you're looking for them, if you don't have the screws already, to make sure to get them from the seller. Let's look at the G4. G4, G5, um, you know, again, very much, pretty much the exact same unit. This is the 65 watt. It's got the, the fan. And again, maybe put a little bit of, of additional um, 
uh, foam there. This is the bottom. You'll notice the G3 looks very similar, but is a different unit. And one way you can tell, of course, is you've got three screws here. This one does not. So again, if you're looking and you're on eBay and you're looking at pictures uh, and it doesn't quite look like what you're seeing here, then maybe they have it mismarked. Another telltale sign that you're dealing with the G4 setup is you've got this kind of, I don't know what you call that, silvery, uh, bronzy kind of coloring on here, where with the G3, it's just straight out. You know, it's just kind of kind of black and, and the tip. This one is longer than uh, the G3, probably the longest of all of them, in order to be able to fit. The, um, this one, at least, when you're taking it out, you could just take it out as a unit. You do have to um, disconnect the uh, cable from the motherboard, but at least you don't have to take these guys out in order to take out the um, drive cage. I did some testing because the viewer was asking about can these SATA connectors be used on other units? And what I tried was that I took a G2 and tried it on a G3 and it actually did work. Now, this is a very short cable, doesn't have the screws, so it's not going to be, you know, held in tightly onto your cage. But in a pinch, you could try it. Now, I would not recommend this as far as using the um, connector from a different unit onto the other, mainly because, you know, these were made for a particular unit, for a particular caddy, and who knows? You know, I would only do it in a, in a pinch, and maybe it's a test unit, and you know, you're doing some stuff, nothing uh, critical. I also tried taking the G4 and trying it on the G3, and it also worked. The nice thing with this is that it's extra long, but again, because it's long, it's, you know, it, it takes up more space. I tried the G3 in a G4, and the cable is so much shorter. I don't know if you can see here. You know, the, the, the overall length makes it so that it doesn't quite fit as well. And I just couldn't get a good connection. And um, I was getting a little nervous thinking, well, am I messing something up? If other readers or right, viewers um, are able to try it out, I'd be curious to see if you're able to get a G3 cable to work in a, um, a G4. But again, stay with the particular, you know, that's why, and especially because you can pick up these um, both with the caddy and the cable for not much on, on eBay. Sometimes they'll, they'll, sell, they'll sell this separately. I mean, if you can get them together and it's the same price as getting the, 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 the single, might as well, you know, you can always use an extra caddy. You just never know what comes up. Maybe you'll end up with a, a bare bones unit that needs a caddy. So you already have it ready to go. Um, the nice thing with these screws, these, the short and long, they work on the, the G2, G3, um, G4 and 5. So they're all, uh, excuse me, they do not work on the, the G2. It's, just, it's the 3, 4 and 5 all use these same screws, which is kind of handy. The, um, that way, you know, especially if you're like me, you've got your, your workbench out and you're unscrewing this and opening that and you're like, oh shoot, which one went to where? Then you can put them back. But at least if you can identify what the, um, these guys look like so that that way, um, you put the right SATA cable back on the other, that would be good because, uh, uh you don't want to have those, um, mixed up if you can. One piece of advice, I was taking all of these out of the units and I've been doing some testing, putting stuff back and forth. I would recommend um, when you're putting this back onto the motherboard, I find it easier, remove the screws, 
have the cage out, and then you can feed this into the slot a lot easier. Or let's say you're doing something and you've got the cage screwed in and somehow this gets out. I would recommend taking out the cage, unscrewing, get this nice uh, and seated in there, then put the cage, put the screws, and then you're set to go. And again, one um, uh, piece of advice is secure the cage first, then secure here. It just makes it easier because if you secure this first and you're moving, you may end up pulling out. If it's not obvious from, from maybe past comments I've made or past videos, these cages can be intermixed, meaning um, if I had a 35 watt system and I said, hey, it sure would be nice to be able to have a fan in there. Well, just buy this. I bought this one uh, off of eBay. It came with the cable, the screws, the whole thing. This I can now put into my 35 watt G4 and get the extra cooling. I don't know if I'd go the other way if I had this and I didn't want it anymore, but you could, you know, if for some reason uh, it's just making a lot of extra noise for you, you could always take this out. Of, but with the fact that you're, if you're running something with a non-T processor, the extra heat and so forth, going with the non-fan, you know, your mileage may vary. You have to see how it is with your thermals after you make that change. Um, caddies cannot be interchanged with between units, meaning I can't take a G4 caddy and put it in a G3 and so forth. They're, they're made specific for it, just like the heat sinks, the fans, everything is made for the particular generation. And um, it would be nice if they were more interchangeable, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, little things, of course, obviously the screws and some of the testing, you may you may be able to get by with the... the um, the, the SATA connectors, but I would stick with the, the same generation. One thing I also wanted to add is shop around. If you, if you need these caddies, I mean, I've seen them crazy prices. I mean, up $30, $40 they want, you know, some of these places want. Um, I would look around. I mean, uh, some of the older generations, I've got them as cheap as eight or nine bucks. Uh, the later generations, maybe 15, but just look around. And particularly look to see if you're getting the caddy, the screws, uh, the SATA cable, the, you know, the whole nine yards, because you may, you may be able to get the whole thing for the same price as someone just giving you the caddy or just giving you the connector. Um, and the screws are always good. You're always going to need them for extra stuff, for bare bone systems. Um, you know, the, they there's thousands probably hundreds of thousands of these things out there um you know go and try to get the best price for it